Thank you, Mrs. Sutherland, and please be seated. Good morning, and welcome students, families, friends, and faculty to our 2022 middle school closing program. Welcome to those watching our live stream, and of course, a special greeting to our eighth graders, class of 2026. It's difficult to summarize nine months of school in just a few moments, but it's been a terrific year in the middle school. Many projects were completed, important conversations were had, shows were produced, art projects were created, and the faculty defeated the eighth graders by one run in our faculty student softball game. More than these takeaways, though, the year was filled with an appreciation for a normal schedule, a full athletic season, and a school dance, just to name a few aspects of our program that were altered last year. In short, congratulations to all students for a very successful year. I have only seen my mother cry just a few times over the years. She comes from an Italian family with five kids with a football coach as her father. So perhaps shedding a tear wasn't exactly encouraged. However, I vividly remember seeing her cry almost 25 years ago now at my college graduation. I was processing down the long walk at Trinity College through a crowd of people. And out of nowhere, I spotted my mother. She was separated from our family, and it appeared as though she moved her way to the front for a closer look. I passed her, and she waved, tears running down her cheeks. I remember this moment surprised me. She was not emotional leading up to the event, and up to that point, graduation day was not something I had thought really much about. But now, all these years later, I realize she was not crying over what was an expected accomplishment. She was crying tears of joy over a milestone moment for one of her children. As parents, we know life is fleeting, and moments such as today tend to sneak up on us. When days like today come around, we tend to be more reflective, thinking about how we have raised our children and hoping they are prepared for the next step. These are powerful moments that indeed wash our minds with love, hope, and trepidation all at the same time. Thank you, parents, for supporting your child and for supporting GSB through the middle school years, and congratulations on this special moment. And you have permission to shed a tear as a sign of strength, love, and support. To our eighth graders, today is indeed a day to celebrate, not one to let pass like any other day. You are not receiving a college diploma today, but it is a milestone moment. You are moving from middle school to upper school, a clear marker on your school journey. As your parents are surely reflecting on this day, I encourage you to do just a bit of reflection as well. Days like today don't come by very often. So I ask you, are you the student you wish to be? Are you the son, daughter, and perhaps the sibling you wish to be? Are you bringing your whole self to the table in your interactions with family and friends? Or is there a device running in the background competing for your attention? These are not questions we really consider on a daily basis, but days like today don't come around very often. Someone once said to me, be the person, be the person you wish to become. With kindness and love at the center of everything that we do, this is within your grasp, and there is no better time than now. So thank you to our eighth graders for your leadership over the last couple of years. From the end of sixth grade, through this spring, doing school during a pandemic has not been easy. You have done everything we have asked, and we appreciate each one of you. Enjoy your moment today, and be sure to celebrate with friends and family. And please, thank your parents for all their love and support at some point later today. To our fifth, sixth, and seventh graders, we look forward to another great year next year. But before that time comes, I wish each of you a fantastic summer. Have fun at the beach 
Be a good friend and family member, and remember to complete your summer reading and math. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank our teaching staff for another amazing school year. Teaching is not a job, it's a vocation. Our team is devoted to the students who come before them each day, and I appreciate each one of you for bringing your whole self to the building every day. Special announcement, as announced a couple of days ago at graduation, please join me in recognizing this year's Gil St. Bernard's Teaching Chair of Excellence Award winner, Mr. Frank Corrado. Thank you for gathering this morning and enjoy the program. Now the middle school choir will come forward to sing for good. Thank you, Ms. Sutherland. We now turn to the awards portion of today's program. Standing in for Mr. Bednarski, it's my pleasure to present the seventh grade Scholastic Honors Award, which is presented to the student who maintains the highest cumulative grade point average among his or her classmates throughout the academic year. Please join me in congratulating this year's seventh grade Scholastic Awards recipient, Suzanne Horton.
Uh, next up, Ms. Hogan will present the award for the fifth grade Brett Marchand Citizenship Award. I would like to call up Maddie Sable to assist me in presenting this award. Maddie won this award last year as a fifth grader. It is my pleasure to present the fifth grade Brett Marchand Citizenship Award. This award is named after a dedicated educator who for over three decades made a positive impact on countless students teachers, and families. A kind, considerate, and thoughtful individual, Mrs. Marchand embodied all of the qualities and characteristics we hold dear in the middle school. This year's fifth grade Citizenship Award recipient has a consistently positive attitude, approaches challenges with the can-do spirit, and treats everyone in the fifth grade with kindness and respect. Please join me in congratulating this year's fifth grade Brett Marchand Citizenship Award recipient, Ishan King. I would now like to introduce Dr. Vasquez Grinnell for the sixth grade Brett Marchand Citizenship Award. Good morning. Uh, I'd like to call up Lily Liu to come and help me present this award. She won last year. It is my pleasure to present the sixth grade Brett Marchand Citizenship Award to the student who brings a positive attitude and welcoming personality to the class and is always willing to help others, both teachers and peers. Please join me in congratulating this year's sixth grade Brett Marchand Citizenship Award recipient, Ava Bell. Uh, now Ms. Katz will come up to present the 7th grade Brett Marchand Citizenship Award. I'd like to invite last year's recipient, Maurice Boyd, to come help me. It is my pleasure to present the seventh grade Brett Marchand Citizenship Award. A true team player on the court, in the classroom, and everywhere else, the seventh grader who is receiving this award goes out of her way to help others. Please join me in congratulating this year's seventh grade Brett Marchand Citizenship Award recipient, Hope Wilson. I'd like to ask Ms. Connor to come join me to present the uh, Academic Excellence Awards for English. The next group of awards will be the 8th grade Academic Excellence Awards. Students receiving these certificates are being recognized for excellence in various disciplines. This recognition is based on academic record, work ethic, 
enthusiasm, collaboration, and cooperation. These students demonstrate a willingness to go beyond the presented curriculum, having an authentic interest in the subject matter. For each subject, we ask that you hold your applause until all the names have been read. We will now present the English certificates. They will go to Robinson Argobite, Maurice Boyd, Cameron Coates, Aaron Crickenberger, Maya Frank, Stephanie Perez, Bennett Polanemi, Charlotte Tui, Colette Valentino, and Caitlin Volrath. Next will be Ms. Timnicki, Mr. Corrado, Ms. Lasher, and Ms. Chandra to present the math certificates. Hello again. Um, I'm going to read the uh, recipients for the excellence in algebra. Uh, the recipients this year are Maurice Boyd, Stephanie Perez, Colette Valentino, and Ariana Wasser. I would like to present to you the Geometry Award winners for excellence. Bennett Polmini, Jack Tedesco, Ariana Talalian, and Caitlin Bullrath. Uh, next to the podium will be Ms. Casperson and Mr. Armstrong to present the history certificates. I am pleased to recognize the following students for excellence in history. Maurice Boyd, Jr. Aaron Crickenberger, Ava Hearn, Tahir Jones, Oliver Litchfield, Rohan Norden, Stephanie Perez, Jack Tedesco, and Joel Wagman.
Good morning. It is my pleasure to present the certificates for science excellence this year to the following students. Robinson Argobright, Charlie Auerbach, Maurice Boyd, Cameron Coates, Tahir Jones, Stephanie Perez, Bennett Polmeni, and Caitlin Bullrath. I would now like to introduce Ms. Coors, Mrs. Butler, and Mrs. Brown to present the World Language Certificates. Good morning. I am pleased to award this year's Excellence in French Award to Caitlin Volrath. Laitasum dare hanconora, tribus discipulis latinis, sunt Maximus Argobright, Aurelius Litchfield, et Maximus Tedesco. Hello, good morning. Thank you for being here with us. It is my pleasure to announce the following students um, as they receive their Excellence in Spanish Award. Um, Maurice Boyd, Cameron Coates, Rohan Norden, and Ariana Talalian. And now I'd like to introduce Mrs. DeFalco, Ms. Hogan, and Mrs. Kasperson to recognize student council and peer partners. I'd like to recognize the following eighth graders for their involvement in either student council or as peer partners this year. Please stand when I call your name. You don't have to come down. Annabelle Beekman, Graham Berry, Maurice Boyd, Aaron Crickenberger, Cece Criscola, Kira DiCarlo, Maya Frank, Rajan Gandhi, Jasper Wella, Ava Hearn, Tahir Jones, Mia Liberty, Dorset Mulcahy, Stephanie Perez, Alisa Riaz, Ariana Talelian, Charlotte Tui, Caitlin Volrath, and Ariana Wasser. And now we'd like to introduce Mr. Roslin to present this year's Boys Athletic Award.
Good morning. It is my pleasure to present the Boys Athletic Award, which is awarded annually to the eighth grade male, who in the opinion of his coaches, best represents the qualities of determination, leadership, cooperation, and sportsmanship. This year's recipient displayed excellent skills, teamwork, and knowledge of their sports on the field, the court, and the baseball diamond. Please join me in congratulating this year's Boys Athletic Award recipient, Jude Waters. Please welcome Mrs. Labar, who will introduce the Girls Athletic Award. Good morning. It is my pleasure to present the Girls Athletic Award, which is awarded annually to the eighth grade female who, in the opinion of her coaches, best represents the qualities of determination, leadership, cooperation, and sportsmanship. I am pleased to present this shared award to two outstanding three-sport female athletes. These two young ladies have competed in athletics since fifth grade, are dedicated, hardworking, talented players, and have been an asset to all the teams they have competed on. Please join me in congratulating this year's Girls Athletic Award recipients, Ava Hearn and Mia Liberti. I'd like to introduce Mrs. DeFalco, who will present the Francis Winston Award. Good morning. It is my pleasure to present the Francis Winston Award, which is presented to the eighth grade student who, in the opinion of faculty members, has shown the most significant personal growth throughout middle school. A genuinely caring and driven student by nature, this year's recipient has used her own experiences with personal growth to help guide and encourage her younger peers to be their best as well. Please join me in congratulating this year's Francis Winston Award recipient, Kira DiCarlo. And now I'd like to introduce Ms. Laley, who will present the Marjorie Hibbler Award. It is my pleasure to bring an, uh, no, oh my goodness, start over. <laughs> it is my pleasure to present the Marjorie, Marjorie Hippler Award, which is presented to the eighth grade student who consistently demonstrated the greatest passion for and devotion to independent reading. This year's recipient checked out the most books in the eighth grade class, was a wonderful book club participant, and a great leader when it came to guiding conversations about the books. Please join me in congratulating this year's Marjorie Hippler Award recipient, Stephanie Perez. And 
next up is Mr. Tui to pr uh, present the Frank Mazaki Award. It is my pleasure to present the Frank Mazaki Award in memory of St. Bernard's School alumnus Frank Mazaki, class of 1966. This silver bowl is given annually to the male student who best exemplifies a friendly manner, integrity, sincerity, and loyalty toward the school during his tenure in the middle school. This year, there are two recipients. The first recipient quietly goes out of his way to make everyone feel included in and out of the classroom. This second recipient has a strong moral compass and is a true friend to many. Please join me in congratulating this year's Frank Mazaki Award recipients, Tahir Jones and Dorset Mulcahy. I would now like to introduce Ms. Connor to present the Martha Gray Award. It is my pleasure to present the Martha Gray Award, named in honor of one of Gil St. Bernard's most distinguished educators. This tray is given annually to the female student who best exemplifies a friendly manner, integrity, sincerity, and loyalty toward the school during her tenure in the middle school. This year's recipient is thoughtful and kind and shows a genuine concern for Gil St. Bernard's students, faculty, and campus. Please join me in congratulating this year's Martha Gray Award recipient, Charlie Auerbach. And next will be Mr. Armstrong with the Scholastic Award. Thank you, Ms. Connor. The eighth grade Scholastic Honors. It is my pleasure to present the eighth grade Scholastic Honors Award this year, which is presented to the student who has earned the highest cumulative grade point average among his or her classmates. Please join me in congratulating this year's award recipient, Jack Tedesco. Next, it is my pleasure to present the Character Club Award. This award is presented to the student who displays honor, respect, and integrity each and every day. The Character Club Award, which is a book prize, goes to two students this year. Please hold your applause until I read both names. Aaron Krickenberger and Oliver Litchfield. Before Mr. Rao presents this year's 8th grade Brett Marchand Citizenship Award, will the previous recipients in this year's 8th grade class stand in place to be recognized. 
They are Maurice Boyd, Ava Hearn, and Jack Tedesco. It is both a privilege and an honor for me to present the Brett Mershon Citizenship Award. Uh, I was blessed, as many of us were, to know and work with Brett for many years. This award is the most significant recognition a middle school student can obtain. The award is granted to the individual who best upholds the Gill School's motto, faith, honor, and consideration. This year's recipient motivates others with his compassion and inclusiveness. He makes each individual feel important and valued. He does all of this naturally and truly makes GSB a better place for everyone. Please join me in congratulating this year's Brett Mershon Citizenship Award recipient, Maurice Boyd. And now, as Mr. Armstrong said earlier, today is a day to celebrate. It is an opportunity for us to recognize all of these young men and women for their individual achievements and their contributions to the GSB community. I'm going to ask Mr. Armstrong to come up here, but here we go, the, the GSB eighth grade class. Will the first row please rise, rise and move into position? Robinson Logan Argobright. Charlie Rose Auerbach. Caitlin Barada. Annabelle Lynn Beekman. Graham Berry. Brendan Charles Binder. Maurice Boyd, Jr. Micaela Buono. <laughs> Jacob Francis Bynack. <laughs> Emily Grace Byrne. Anastasia Valerie 
Chatikin. Charlotte Valentine Clark. Cameron Lucia Coates. Alberto Coronado. First row can please be seated. Second row, move into position. Lucian Francis Corrado. Nathaniel J. Costa. Aaron Grace Crickenberger. Cecilia V. Criscola. Aaron Micah Davis. Kira Rose DiCarlo. Ava Cameron Tatango Fajardo. Joseph C. Fava. Maya Barry Frank. Rajan K. Gandhi. Jasper Alexander Guella. Ava Mattingly Hearn. Davis Wilmer Herr. John Grady Daydon Jacobson. Second row set, third row stand, please. Tahir Mari Jones.
Robert S. Judd. Elizabeth Klotzkoff. Mia Sky Liberty. Oliver Litchfield. Stella Lawrence Lockhart. Declan Nicholas Marcucci. Michael M. Marcico. Stephen Clinton McRae, Jr. <laughs> Ethan Akene Mbako. <laughs> Dorset Peter Mulcahy. Jackson Patrick Murray. <laughs> Rohan Norden. <laughs> Gurnur Kaur Paka. Last row, please stand. Come forward, please. Stephanie M. Perez. Bennett Anthony Polomeni. <laughs> Neil Oliver Procaccino. <laughs> Aliza F. Riaz. Colin James Seeley. Jack Joseph Tedesco. Ariana Lucy Talalian. Charlotte Faith Tui. <laughs> Colette Catherine Valentino. <laughs> K. 
Caitlin Olivia Volrath. Joel Jonathan Wagman. Ariana Sophia Wasser. Eamon M. Waters. Jude A. Waters. I'm going to ask the eighth graders to do two things. One is smile. Some of them are holding back smiles. Today's the day to smile. Secondly, stand up and let's give them a big round of applause. Please uh, remain standing. We're going to sing the school's alma mater, which is printed in your program. <laughs> 